let's make some PDF maps with QGIS. So I have some map data open here in QGIS and um, really quickly the shapes, these are the boroughs of New York City, and the points on top, these are Uber pickups as um, I will link to in the description for the video if you are interested in exploring this data set. Uh, so let's say I'm really happy with how this map looks and I want to make a PDF to share with people or to post online, something along those lines. So uh, the way you do that is you go up to Project and you create a new print composer. I'm going to leave the title empty, but feel free to set it to whatever makes sense for you. Okay, and when you do that, you have this blank canvas and this is the page that you're going to print. So on the left for me, at least, I have this toolbar that um, is a series of items that I can add to the canvas. Um, the main one is going to be adding a new map. So I'm going to click add a new map button. And I want the map to take up the entire canvas, more or less. So let's do that. So, the map now shows up exactly as we have it in QGIS right now. And um, if I wanted to reposition this, I would uh, use this button, the Select Move Item, to make sure that my map is picked. And then I would click this button, Move Item Content. And this will actually move the map within the box that we made. So. If we use select to move item, we're actually moving the box around on the page. And if I use this one, I'm moving the map around inside that box. Um, so if you zoom in with by scrolling with your trackpad or with your mouse, you'll, uh, you'll see that you're zooming in and out on your map. It's not very precise. If you wanted to, you could update the scale over here or the extents. Um, one way that I just recently became more aware of was um, you could go back to your original map in QGIS. So this is actually the, the data view that you're usually using. And you could zoom in to the area you want. Let's say I want the area around Central Park. Um, and I can go back to my composer and say set to map canvas extent. And that will um, that will zoom out and pan over to the part of the map you were looking at originally. OK, so let's say I'm pretty happy with how that looks right now. I have a lot of other things over here that I can add. And let's go through those really quickly. So one is images, so you can add images. And for all of these, you're going to draw a box first to put the content in. And then on the right, you will change the settings. So you could just uh, open your own image and place it in here, no problem. Uh, I want to put a compass here. And that's under search directories, which maybe isn't the most obvious name for it. And I will pick, um, let's see, let's pick this one. That works. And these should all be uh, scalable vectors, so you can resize these as much as you want. I probably don't want it to be that gigantic. OK. Oops, I keep zooming out. All right. I can add a title. Remember, I have to draw the box first, and then I can change over here in the properties. I can say Uber pickups near Central Park. Um, the text is really small. You can make lots of changes here um, in ways that you are likely familiar with. OK, that works. I'm not going to make it perfect. Maybe I'll make the font a little bit bigger. 
Um, sure, that works. Uh, so, next thing is you'll probably want to have a legend of some sort. And that is the next button over here. We'll click it and we'll draw a box to put it in. And when we do, we get a, an automatically generated one from um, from our map. So you can see that the name is legend. You can change that here. You could get rid of it if you wanted to. Um, and you can change the fonts down here. You can, um, so right now the names are exactly the names from our layers. So if we go back to the main QGIS area, you can see that it just has the point symbol and then exactly the name that we gave it originally. So uh, one way to fix this is just to right click on these and rename them. And if I go back, um, it says that it's auto-updating. It doesn't seem to be. OK. For some reason, clicking on it updated it. I feel like that part's a little, um, a little glitchy. And I'll remove the background to make it blend in a little bit. But as you can see, there are lots of there are lots of options that are that are relatively straightforward. Um, you can also um, you can also edit these directly, potentially. So maybe having New York City on there uh, doesn't make any sense in this case, but you don't want to remove it from your map, obviously. So you should be able to just delete it there. Okay, so. We have our map, we have a compass, we have a title, we have a legend. Let's go and add a scale bar also. In this case, scale bar maybe doesn't matter a lot. And let's see, so our options are the units. Let's put it in feet, since most people reading maps of New York City are going to be into feet. And OK. Maybe that's OK. Maybe we'd rather it down here with the compass. That probably makes more sense. OK. So probably not the best map I've ever made. Um, but but you can see the areas for um, expanding on this and customizing it. Um, once you once you have one that you're pretty happy with, you can actually close this and open it again. So under project, you can go to print composers, and this was the third one that I made, um, and it's open. It's all there for you. So um, it's there because oops um, because it's part of the project so if you save this project somewhere it will always be bundled in there with that project which is pretty handy so let's reopen the print composer and let's actually export it so you have three ways you can export it you can export as an image um, you can export as SVG Say if you wanted to um, either, I mean, usually I use this feature to export and open in um, a vector editing program, such as Illustrator. And then finally, you can export as PDF. And let's try that out. I'm going to put it in my folder here, of course. 
and let's check it out. Hey, yeah. So um, there's our map, pretty much exactly as we made it. And that is a quick guide to making, to printing maps in QGIS.